I'm getting so many fun comments today. This comment says that God's commandments are not a comprehensive list for sin. Well, that's not what the Bible says. In fact, if God didn't give us a comprehensive list of sinning, we wouldn't know what it is at all. Paul even reaffirms this. In Romans 7, he said, I wouldn't know what coveting was if the law didn't tell me. You can have your personal convictions about what you feel is sin, but God is God. He gets to choose what sin is, and he told us what it is in his Torah. And if you stop doing the things he considers sin, that means you stop sinning. The Bible defines sin in 1 John 3, 4 as transgression of the law, or the Torah. But a lot of people don't like to acknowledge this, so let's go down a different avenue. A lot of people like to bring up what it says in Strong's Concordance. Sin means missing the mark, failure, fault. So let's go by this definition for a little bit, missing the mark. Well, what is the mark, we must ask? For those of you that don't know, Hebrew is really in-depth. Each letter represents a number, and furthermore, each letter actually has its own meaning in and of itself. And wouldn't you know it, when you break down the word Torah in Hebrew, it means to shoot an arrow or to hit the mark. The letters used to write out Torah represent hitting the mark in Hebrew. And don't let anyone tell you these lies that it's impossible to keep the law and that you can't stop sinning. Jesus commands you to stop sinning. And many times in the New Testament, it tells us that we can follow the commandments. Luke 1, 6, for instance, Elizabeth and Zechariah were both righteous before God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and statutes of the Lord. Even Paul says in Philippians 3 that as for righteousness under the law, he was blameless. Most assuredly, I say to you, Paul did not break the commandments in the Torah. Nor did he teach that it was okay, no matter what you think. I have an entire playlist proving this. Furthermore, in 1 Corinthians 4, Paul says this, For I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time. Before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things that are hidden in darkness and will disclose the purpose of the heart. Then each one will receive his commendation from God. And in Romans 2, Paul says this, For it is not hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. And moving on in Romans 3, he says, Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. The Torah tells us what God considers sin so that we can stop doing it and be reconciled back to him. This is the whole definition of repentance. You understand what you were doing wrong so that you can stop doing it. It's time to stop missing the mark.